This video will explain the random early deduction read, which is one of the congestion avoidant mechanisms in the computer networks. What is random early deduction uh, read? Random early deduction read is a proactive congestion avoidance mechanism used in computer networks primarily within routers to manage and mitigate network congestion before it reaches critical levels. It works by monitoring the length of queue in a router and selectively dropping or marking packets to signal to network sources to regulate their transmission rates. That is, random early deduction red is like a traffic cop for internet data. It keeps an eye on how busy a router is and if it starts to get too crowded, red tells some data packets to slow down or take a break. This helps prevent congestion and keeps the internet running smoothly for everyone. Okay? Now, let's explore how red works. Queue monitoring. Red continuously observes the size of queue where packets are buffered before transmission. It tracks the average queue length to assess congestion levels. That is, queue monitoring involves constantly observing the queue size where packets are stored before transmission. This helps assess congestion levels within the network. Okay? Thresholds. Red employs two thresholds. Minimum threshold, min threshold, and maximum threshold, max threshold. These thresholds are set by network administrators based on network characteristics and congestion tolerance levels. This means these uh, thresholds established by network administrators determine the congestion tolerance levels. They guide when red takes action to prevent congestion. Okay? Congestion detection. When the queue length is below min threshold, no packets are dropped or marked. As the average queue length crosses min threshold and approaches max threshold, red begins to take action to avoid congestion. That is, if the queue remains below the minimum threshold, no action is taken. But as it nears the maximum threshold, red initiates actions to prevent congestion. Okay? Probability based dropping marking. Red uses a probabilistic function to decide which packets to drop or mark. As the queue length increases between min threshold and max threshold, the probability of dropping or marking packets also increases linearly. Based on a probabilistic function, red determines packet drop or marking probabilities as the queue length increases, preventing congestion escalation. Okay? Early signaling. Red starts dropping or marking packets before the queue becomes fully congested. This early signaling prompts the sources to adjust their transmission rates, preventing severe congestion and packet loss. 
by dropping or marking packets early. Red prompts sources to adjust transmission rates, preventing severe congestion and packet loss. Okay. Adaptive behavior. Red dynamically adjusts the dropping mark probability based on the current queue length. It is designed to be adaptive to changing network conditions, scaling the response to congestion levels. That is, Red's adaptive nature scales its response to congestion levels ensuring efficient operation despite changing network conditions okay fairness red aims to maintain fairness among connected devices by signaling all sources to decrease transmission rates proportionally it avoids penalizing any particular source excessively this means red signals all sources to decrease transmission rates proportionally, preventing undue penalties on any specific source. Okay, now we will explore the calculation and parameters utilized by red. Average Q length AVG length. In random early detection, red the average Q length ABG len is calculated using a weighted running average similar to the approach used in the original TCP timeout computation. This involves updating ABG len according to the formula. ABG len equals 1 minus weight times ABG len plus weight times sample length. Here the parameter 0 less than weight less than 1 denotes the weight factor determining the influence of the current Q length on the average. Sample length represents the length of the Q at the time a sample measurement is taken. Here in red, the average Q length AVG length adapts using a weighted average, impacting the current Q's influence on the total. The weight factor between 0 and 1 defines this influence, while sample length captures the Q length during sampling. Okay? Utilizing an average Q length over an instant one better understands congestion. Due to internet traffic's sporadic bursts, queues rapidly fill and empty. Constant Q emptiness does not indicate congestion, so the weighted running average aims to identify prolonged congestion, filtering out quick Q changes are shown in figure 1's right side. Here, using an average Q length instead of an instant one helps understand congestion better. The internet's stop and go traffic quickly fills and empties queues. This weighted average helps spot long congestion periods ignoring short, sudden changes in the queue as shown in figure 1. Okay. Threshold based packet handling. Red has two queue length thresholds that trigger specific actions, min threshold and max threshold. When a packet arrives at the router, Red compares the current AVG len with these thresholds, resulting in the following actions. If AVG len less than equals min threshold, 
the packet is queued. If min threshold less than AVG len less than max threshold, red calculates probability P and drops the arriving packet with probability P. If max threshold less than equals AVG len, the arriving packet is dropped. These thresholds control packet handling to prevent congestion or severe packet loss. If the average queue length falls below the lower threshold, no immediate action occurs. Conversely, if the average queue length surpasses the upper threshold, packets are consistently dropped. When the average queue length resides between these thresholds, arriving packets face a probability based dropping, denoted as P. This scenario is illustrated in figure 2. Actually, red employs min threshold and max threshold to manage packet handling at the router, taking specific actions based on comparisons with AVG LEN to prevent congestion or severe packet loss. Here, packet, uh, figure 2 illustrates this scenario showing how arriving packets face a probability based dropping when the queue length resides between these thresholds. Okay. Calculation of dropping probability P. P is a function of AVG len, min threshold, max threshold and count time since the last packet was dropped. The calculation involves the following steps. Temp P equals max P times AVG len minus min threshold divided by max threshold minus min threshold. P is equal to temp P divided by 1 minus count times temp P. This computation determines the probability of dropping a packet based on the queue length and elapsed time since the last dropped packet. Figure 3 displays the approximate correlation between P and AVG len. Here the computation of P dropping probability in red considers AVG len thresholds and the duration since the last packet was dropped, determining the likelihood of dropping packets based on Q conditions. Figure 3 showcases the approximate correlation between P, that is dropping probability, and AVG len, that is average Q length, providing a visual representation of how dropping probability changes concerning Q length. Okay. Benefits of red. Congestion avoidance. Red prevents congestion by taking action early, ensuring smoother network operation. That is, red anticipates congestion and acts early, keeping the network running smoothly. Okay. Fairness. It maintains fairness among connected devices by signaling them to adjust transmission rates proportionally. This means red signals devices to adjust transmission fairly, preventing anyone's source from dominating. Okay. Adaptability. It dynamically adjusts to changing network conditions, 
that is uh, red adjust dynamically to changes in the network ensuring efficient operations okay